How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are going to take a look at the growth time looking at both the seasonal cycles and when you're not running seasons. So I've been seeing a lot of traffic and comments over on all the different social media platforms about all the different growth times and how it's a lot longer than it was in Farming Simulator 19. So let me know down in the comments below how long it's taken you to grow your crops because I might use some of that information in a future video. And to stay up to date on all my future videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell too. Now with seasonal cycles, they've got a pretty good calendar up there that explains when that is, but it's kind of hard to, to see visually the way that it is. So I've got another spreadsheet that I want to share with you guys. I also went ahead and did some testing for the non-seasonal growth times and that's going to be in the second half of the video i've got a timestamp down below so if that's what you're here for go ahead and hit the timestamp right now all right so everybody that is still here for the seasonal growth time i've got a spreadsheet on the screen right now and i've got all of the different crops listed on the left hand side they go wheat barley canola oats sorghum soybeans corn sunflowers cotton potatoes sugar beet sugar cane grapes olives I've even got grass, poplar, and oilseed radish. Now, the bottom three are really interesting. They're off by themselves because of the harvest, when you can harvest them in the year. But the top ones, you can see right there, our calendar starts in August. Whenever you load into the game, it's going to be August. So the only crop that you're actually going to be able to plant in August is canola. And you can see once you move on to September, it's going to be wheat, barley, and canola. And then you've got to wait all the way until the next year, calendar year, before you can plant any crops. And you can see cotton is going to be the first one at February. And then March, you come in with a lot of them. Oats, sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, grapes, olives. And then lastly, April, you're going to start being able to plant sorghum, soybeans, and corn. So those are all the green columns that you see right there. Most of those are going to be two days that you can plant or two months that you can plant. The grapes are three months and the olives are actually four months that you're going to be able to plant those for. So what you see next, moving to the right, are yellow cells. And what those are, are the months or days that you're going to be able to harvest those crops. So you can see the first one you're going to be able to harvest is barley in June. Next in July, we have wheat, canola, and oats. August, you're going to have sorghum and potatoes. September, you're going to be able to harvest your grapes. October is going to be soybeans, corn, sunflowers, cotton, sugar beet, sugar cane, and olives. Really interesting, olives you only get one month to be able to harvest those. So if you have a bunch of them, you might want to think about slowing down your time, or you need to do a lot longer season. Now all the way on the far right, you can see the number of months that it actually takes, or days, to be able to grow this crop, fully mature it, and be ready to harvest it. At the top, wheat is 10, and then barley is nine, canola is 11, oats is four, so is sorghum. Then you have soybeans and corn coming in at six. You have sunflowers at seven, cotton at eight, potatoes at five, sugar beets and sugar cane at seven, grapes at six, olives at seven. I know it says seven, but I think that's from the very first day. At the very bottom, now these are very special ones because the green months are the ones that you can actually plant these crops. So beginning in March, you're gonna be able to plant grass, poplar, and oilseed radish. You are not gonna be able to plant grass any later than November. You're not gonna be able to plant poplar any later than August. And oilseed radish, you can't plant it any later than October. But the yellow bar shows that you can harvest this crop any time of the year. If you want a quick reference to this spreadsheet right here, I'm going to put it in my Discord server. It's going to be called FS22 Testing Results is the channel that we're going to put it into. So if you're looking for the Discord, it's down below. There's a link for it. So we'd love to have you there. And now we're going to move on to the non-seasonal testing that I did. As you can see right here on the farm, I planted every type of crop that there is. We planted them all on the same day, and then we went through and slept through the night to see how many days it took until it got to full maturity and it said ready to harvest in the menu. So the spreadsheet that I have shown here is a copy of the one that we just showed off in the other portion of this video. Now this is what the standard growth time for all the crops are. The column on the right are my findings whenever I turned off the seasonal settings. I also set the month to July and turned off all snow. The green cells that you see did not have a difference in time between the two different settings and the cells in yellow did have a time. Now all but one were less. Potatoes is the only one that actually took longer. So instead of five months on the regular seasonal cycles, it took seven months here with everything turned off. At the very top, we have wheat. Instead of 10, it took seven. 
Barley, instead of 9, it took 6. Canola, instead of 11, it took 7. Grapes, instead of 6, it took 5. Olives, instead of 7, it took 4. And poplars, instead of 13, it took 11. Now, these are my findings. I have been reading some information that says a little bit differently than what I got here. I'm not sure if this is a bug that is going to get fixed with some updates that we're going to see coming out really soon. This video was made on the 22nd of November, so the game has not even been released to all players for 24 hours yet. I just saw that this was a very hot topic. I wanted to come in here and try and clarify and do some testing because this is what my channel does. We come in here and we test things like this, and I really wanted to understand what was going on with the growth times because it makes a difference in how you plan out your farm. So I don't know if these are going to hold up. If they end up changing, then we'll make another video that says after this update, these are the growth times. We're also going to be putting this information right here on our Discord server. It's going to be under a channel called FS22 testing results. We have the regular seasonal cycle growth time listed there, and then I'm going to post this one also. And if you're looking for a way to get to the Discord, the link is in the description down below. Well, that's going to be it, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to keep up to date on all my testing videos here for Farming Simulator 22, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Till next time, this is Driver53, signing off.